This video is brought to you by Tempo. Stick around to the end to learn more about the Tempo move. How's it hanging my Peloton freaks, iFit creeps, Tempo peeps, and all the rest of you connected fitness geeks? I'm your host, Colin Jenkins. Welcome back to the Weekly Watt, where we cover each week's top connected fitness news story. Well, except for last week, because not a whole lot happened, and because there is so much new equipment that has come out recently that I have been sweating my ass off to try and review for you, like the Echelon Stride 5S treadmill, Nordic Track 27i bike, Echelon EX8S, Nordic Track Fusion CST Studio, and all of those reviews are out now, and you can check them out but I have like three more reviews and two more treadmills and a bunch of other cool stuff I'm testing out in the works. But this week we do have a story I want to cover and that is how the iFit Facebook group took a turn for the worst after an announcement that iFit would be moving away from giving out free physical rewards like magnets and medals and instead moving to digital rewards with a new digital trophy case. So sit back, relax, take a deep breath if you're upset about those magnets Tap that like button if you haven't done so already, and let's get the show started. So yes, today's story is about iFit Switch from giving out free physical rewards like medals and magnets and moving to a digital reward system with a digital trophy case similar to, well, every other connected fitness program out there like Peloton, Ergata, and many others. Now this update alone probably would not have been worth me making an entire video about but evidently, these physical rewards were so beloved by the iFit community that upon this announcement, the Facebook group immediately turned into a toxic hellscape with hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of posts, some of which I'll admit were batshit crazy, but many of which displayed legitimate concerns and feedback. And of course, additional countless posts where people complain about the number of people complaining, which those are always my favorite. Now this is sort of what the Peloton Facebook group is like on a daily basis, so in some ways this is actually kind of a good sign for iFit because their group is so much more active and members so much more passionate than even one year ago. I mean, it's never great to see a group become so toxic, but underlying it all, it's nice to see so many people who care this much. So of course, I have a few thoughts on this. First, with iFit having grown so much over the past few years, with now over 6 million members, it was pretty inevitable that these free monthly mailed rewards would likely be going away at some point. And this is similar to iFit in 2021 having to go away from giving a free year membership with each price of equipment. It just didn't really make any sense from a business perspective, especially given how much they spend to produce dozens of scenic rides and daily studio classes and live races every month. That being said, it seems evident that these physical rewards were hugely important to many members and are honestly a great promotional tool for iFit since no one else does this. Now there is one obvious solution that many people have talked about and that is to give iFit members an option to buy the physical versions of the rewards that they earn. iFit could just simply allow an account to make an order once they finish the challenge and at the end of the month iFit would know exactly how many magnets to produce and after they created them, have them sent out. And this is actually something that is already commonly done with live service video games. I know, I know, I'm a nerd, but yes, there are lots of games which give you the opportunity to buy a special shirt or whatever after completing some sort of challenge. Now I know iFit has stated that they will not be doing this, but I hope they change their mind because it would be well worth it to them from a marketing perspective and be a great move to support their growing community. However, there is something else that needs to be said because there were many people complaining and upset because they feel like they were paying for these magnets with their monthly membership fee. If that's you, you really need to change your perspective. Your iFit membership pays for your content and your workouts, which iFit it does a tremendous job with absolutely the best produced scenic content of any other platform. And they still have free physical rewards that you can earn like shirts and flags and unlike say Peloton, these shirts are actually pretty nice and since these milestones reset at the beginning of every year, that means there are always new rewards for you to shoot for to help
help you stay motivated. So yes, iFit should absolutely continue to provide physical rewards by giving people the option to buy them once they earn them. And iFit members realize your membership fees do not pay for these medals and additional physical rewards. Play nice, don't be toxic, and stop relying on John Peel to jump on Facebook just to tell you to stop being a fucking dick. Now I want to thank Tempo for helping us cover connected fitness stories like this and making the weekly walk possible. If you haven't heard, Tempo offers both the Tempo Studio and Tempo Move which are all-in-one home smart gyms, which track your reps, your weight, provide form feedback, all while you take some of the best design strength programs I have seen on any connected fitness device. And with constant new updates, Tempo is always making things better. In fact, Tempo is testing out a new range of motion form feature this week to help members further optimize their movements and get the most out of their workouts. With classes that range from dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, body weight, to conditioning, to yoga, to boxing, and everything in between, the Tempo is really an all-in-one fitness solution. Make sure to check out the Tempo Studio and Tempo Move with the link below if you haven't already. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for this weekly Watt News update. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our new episodes. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it as always. And see you next time.